A powerful winter storm that knocked out power to nearly 2 million homes and businesses across the United States on Saturday, with millions of people concerned about how further outages will affect holiday and travel plans. According to the National Weather Service, more than 200 million people were under weather warnings, as wind chills sent temperatures down, as low as minus 48 Celsius. Across the country, officials have attributed at least a dozen deaths to exposure, car crashes on icy and snow-covered roads and effects of the storm including two people who died in their homes outside Buffalo, New York, when emergency crews couldn't reach them, amid historic blizzard conditions. According to the flight tracking website FlightAware, the storm that arrived earlier in the week downed power lines, littered highways with piles of cars in deadly accidents, and led to more than 1,000 flights already cancelled so far on Saturday. Heavy snow and howling winds have taken hold of much of the country, including normally temperate southern states. Highways in the Midwest faced lengthy delays due to snowy weather or crashes. Authorities in parts of Indiana, Michigan, New York and Ohio urged motorists to avoid non-essential travel. U.S. President Joe Biden has urged Americans to exercise caution this holiday weekend, as freezing temperatures and heavy snowfall are hitting large portions of the country. The uh, storm, extreme cold weather, you can see on the map, the estimated areas were, the, you know, as low as 50 degrees where it's at dark red below zero. Uh, it was dangerous and threatening. This is really a very serious uh, weather alert here. And it goes from Oklahoma all the way to uh, Wyoming and Wyoming to Maine. And it's a real consequence. So I encourage everyone, everyone, please heed the local warning. It's not like a snow day, you know, when you're a kid. This is serious stuff. And uh, my team is prepared to help communities uh, weather this, uh, no pun intended, uh, this storm, this, this, this freeze, and uh, because we need to cope. We need to be able to cope with this necessary. I'm going to shortly be briefed by, uh, by both FEMA and the National Weather Service, and uh, we're going to start that briefing. And, but in the meantime, please take this storm extremely seriously.